Um, interesting numbers today. Let's get with it. Um, today is the 24th of October. And here comes Denise. Um, and we've got some interesting numbers. Um, total active listings are down a smidge, about nine overall. Um, here comes Jay. Wow, everybody's coming in. Um, I'm usually in a couple of minutes early if anybody wants to join at any time. Um, okay, new listings the last seven days. So new listings are down. New pendings are down. Total closings are up. So what I'm seeing from this is we're starting to see the holiday lull. I don't know about y'all, but that's what it feels like to me. It's just going to start slowing down. I think um, we were seeing a nice little increase as we were coming along here, but as we get closer to November and December, this is really, I think, going to slow down a lot, but, um, you know, it's definitely showing that in the listings side, it's showing that in the pending side and um, closings were a little bit up, but I think that's just a push from what we were seeing um, early September and how that was tapering off. Um, average days on market, I think is really interesting. I think that that's going to, you know, show that we do have a slower time, although the buyers that are out there are pretty serious. Um, I put one under contract a couple of weeks ago. Um, but this is really interesting to see, you know, it's, let's see the highest that we've had. No, nope, the 40 was there. That's interesting. Um, but anyway, I thought this one was super interesting because we saw this huge jump last week. It must've been something, a couple of big things closed, you know, a couple of, since we're just looking at Allegheny County, it makes me want to go back and look at that close number and which ones they were and why it was so skewed, but we're kind of back down to where we were hovering here in some areas um, for a while. Um, we did see a bump here in price reductions. That doesn't surprise me at all. I was one of them, <laughs> actually two of them probably. Um, but uh, definitely interesting to see this number up and this number up. That's not surprising. Um, sales price to list price ratio, 97.06. We're back down to where we were kind of those few weeks um, from the beginning of September. We're seeing a decrease here, not a ton, just five in number of expireds. Um, here comes DeAndre. Um, and this will be recorded. This is being recorded. So we will post this on the Facebook group. Very close number hovering here at number of agents, but we're going down, right? That's the one thing that we're seeing is um, since the beginning of, or the end of September, rather, we've been seeing like reductions, reduction, a little bitty pop there, and then another big reduction there. That's not surprising. I think as we head into the holidays and as this market continues to stay as tight as it is, um, we're going to see agents leaving this business. I think there's probably some agents too. We get a list every month of agents that are taking the exam and it's still quite a few people across the state um, trying to get into real estate. Now, 70% of them fail, but, um, and, but they keep going. They keep trying. We've got an agent that's taken it like five times out in Johnstown, bless her heart. But, um, Anyway, I just want to reify to everybody that's on this is that um, the efforts that you don't make um, are going to win every time, right? Um, we just need to be digging in to maybe some what we would consider unconventional methods of lead generating um, or just um, put the put the gas on the the um, the tactics that you are using. If you make a couple of calls, make a few more calls. If you're door hanging, hang a few more doors. If you're hosting open houses or you're door knocking or you're um, doing your other types of lead gen, you know, kick it into gear. Because um, I think, I really do feel like, like whoever's starting to be a presence or is continuing to be a presence in the next few months is going to see a decent spring. And we know that there's going to be a lot of agents that don't. That don't see a good spring. So let's keep our foot on the gas if we can, and let's um, get through this this year. You know, on the upside of some of these numbers, definitely this one here. Does anybody have any other thoughts or um, things that they're seeing in the numbers? All righty. Not not specifically in the numbers, but national media is reporting fifteen to twenty percent decrease in sales for twenty three. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think that, you know, we skew on the, you know, opposite end of national. I just don't think that we're, we're not Phoenix. We're not, you know, um, Austin or Los Angeles or Chicago. Um, but what we're going to, you know, we're definitely seeing some of those truths in some of these numbers. Um, but honestly, you know, you know, that's, that's definitely like 17 fewer, but I think that's also just the time of year. Um, the thing about it is, is, I know as a, as an agent, I always felt like, oh, I can just kind of chill for a couple of months right now. You know, I can just chill. And then what happens is, is you see the repercussions of that in January. I don't want to feel that in January. And I know that you guys don't either. And so, um, looking at these numbers is just showing, this is the time to put your foot on the gas. This is the time to really make those efforts so that you can see the winnings from that in January and February. That's what we need to see. I got to get a couple of these buyers under contract too. I got to sell a couple of listings. <laughs> oh, anybody else? <laughs> I know. I know they're just sitting out there. It stinks. Um, did a huge $35,000 price reduction on, on a listing. And um, while Denise did have four couples come through, I'm like, I want an offer. Holy cow. Like, what's it going to take? All right, everybody. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, this recording will be on the Facebook page, but hope everybody um, is doing well and holler if you need anything. Bye.